I've spent all my money on cars this month, so I can't afford a haircut. Speaking of uh, spending money on cars, here's the latest addition to the collection, uh, the Porsche GT3 RS 992 Weissach, Weissach pack, people keep correcting me. My, my neighbors are doing construction, if you can hear drilling and, and stuff. Um, I've wanted this car for so long, it's been a struggle to get it. Usually you have to get your pants pulled down by a, um, a Porsche, Porsche dealer. Um, I, I've had my pants pulled down several times. But finally, uh, we have a GT3 RS in the collection. Uh, you, the car's incredible, it's amazing. Everyone takes it on track and gives you reviews. Like I said in like two videos ago, I am not a journalist, I will review cars, but in my own funky way. And also, you can't actually drive this car fast until you hit 938 miles. I'm on 500, so uh, no fast stuff today. Instead, we will see how usable the 992 GT3 RS Visac Pack limited edition car in white with gold wheels performs as a regular uh, daily, I guess. First challenge, getting, getting in the 992 GT3 RS, it's got um, racing bucket seats. So it's always exciting, it's always fun. Um, I'm old and I've got bad knees, so it's going to be a struggle. Well, I'm not that old, but this is how I get in the car even when it's not a tight space. Ah! God damn it. <sighs> Pass the test. Okay, how, how do you start this again? Oh yeah, I drive so many cars I forget. Oh, that wonderful flat six sound. You know a car's great at handling when you haven't mentioned the engine and you're already like five minutes into the video. Uh, it's got the same engine as the GT3, so uh, flat six, naturally aspirated revs to 9,000 RPM, uh, but I can't do that. I can only do five because it's only done 500 miles. So let, let's, uh, let's, let's escape. Let me lower it because it'll make it easier for me to maneuver. I think it changes the suspension geometry slightly. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, well, Porsche, you continue to surprise me every single day. Ah! Oh, someone's calling me. I'm confused. What do I do? Oh, uh, I've got no front parking sensors. Let's uh, let's go, let's get out of here and make a break for it. Is this? Is this okay? I can feel the BMW there. Aha! Is the Porsche 992 GT3 RS with a Visac pack easy to maneuver out of tight parking space? Yes. This is a road-going car, and I like water, but there's. Nowhere, to... we're going to Asda. I've got some shopping to do uh, for tonight's festivities. So um, I'm taking the perfect daily driver in order to complete tonight's festivities. Uh, so something you encounter in your daily life in the UK, speed bumps. This car has nose lift, but... Oh, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. Uh, there's about 10 we've got coming up, so... Um... It's gonna be, luckily there's no one behind us. This one isn't as bad. Oh, hey, German engineering, look at that. Not an issue in the world. Um, as you can see, in regards to no one being behind us, you can't actually see anything out the back of this car but a roll cage and a wang. So um, I call it wang because it's big, it, it's not a wing. We're, we're at a place called Asda, doing Asda things. This is the perfect car for it, I must say. But I feel like it blends in. It's very subtle, though. I'm thinking of, should I trade it in? Do you think they'll give me overs for it? I feel like she won't know what kind of car this is. They'll probably be like, oh, I reckon they'll offer me a hundred grand. Hello. Hello. I'm here to spice your day up. Spice my day up? Yeah. I just wanted to, I'm, I'm not selling the car. I'm just curious how much you would give me for a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Uh, 250,000. Oh, oh! But it's better than I expected. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I'll bring some more cars. I'll spice up, spice it up a bit more. You only spice up when you let me drive. Okay. <laughs> well, so this car costs 240, 240 grand, 245,000 new. They'll give me 252 for it. So, I'm up. We buy any car, I'm up. Uh, if I sold it privately, I'd probably get like 350, but it's neither here or there. They're always, um, or it's not realistic that always you have um, a parking space 
what, to just yourself or something this wide. So I'm gonna do the realistic thing and park in between two cars. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Look, look, at, look at the wing. Well, oh, drive oh, this thing. Barely. So, oh, so yeah, there, there we go. Aerodynamic efficiency, best for parking. I should have drifted into this space. Oh, it's quite tight. Oh, my wife's calling me. This is a more realistic uh, depiction of reality. You get to a shopping center and you want to um, park up. So you, you come and then uh, you find this wonderful parking space. But, but start, stop. Between a Renault and uh, another Renault. Oh. I, I wish I was exaggerating this. Oh, that's hand support when you want to get out. I see. Hey. Oh, my foot's stuck. <laughs> hey, see? Passes the test. Easy to use, easy to park. I'm actually gonna move the car from me. I don't feel safe really. <laughs> so, um, uh, to, to, to pay homage to uh, the 911's air-cooled routes, I've decided to get an air, air fryer. I literally just made that up on the spot. Um, 911's are no longer air-cooled, but it's, uh, it's, it's just the thing. So I'm getting a, a, an air fryer because I want to air fry, but it's really difficult to understand like the, the levels of air fryingness. So I just went by size. This is four liters and my, my, my concept behind that was, am I going to air fry four liters of chicken? I know chicken isn't often measured in liters, but that's, that's how they've done it here, so. What? I thought they were illegal. Illegal? Yeah, they, they stopped making BNBNs. This is a absolute throwback. I'm gonna get some BNs. Mm -hmm. BN, BN. Do, 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 do. I don't want this to fall. Get, I can't remember where I parked. Oh, do you know what a great thing about the 911 GT3 RS or the Wysak pack in white is? If you can't find the car, you just look for the wing and then that will help you locate the automobile. I'm locked, uh, no, wait, what? Is the car been stolen? Oh yeah, I can see it now. Oh my God. Here we go. Located. The ultimate daily driver, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Wysat pack. Let's get this, let's get this front open. Let's get this bad boy. Let's get this bad boy loaded up. Ugh. The ice cream is literally melting. Like it's, it's, oh my God, it's melted. Let me uh, front it up. That's one thing that's good about Porsche. They always think about what you need, you know, what, what will make your life easier and storage. Oh yeah, so the 911 GT3 RS has a single radiator that replaces the three in the 911. Um, it gets really, you don't want to put anything in there. It's too hot anyway. Like, you don't want anything. Anyway, um, I may have to unpack the air fryer to get it to sit inside the car. First things first, let's get the ice cream and the dough balls. I think they'll be good on top of the engine. Yeah, they'll be fine there. They won't melt. My newly ob obtained air fryer. I don't think it's gonna fit. Can we cut? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking the air fryer will survive in the, its current position. There. There's, think of the downforce as well. That must be four liters of downforce. <laughs> I actually think it will survive there, you know. As long as I don't like turn or break. There's only one way to find out. Right, let me drive it around, let's see what happens. I think this would be fine. Oh, it's the speed bump test, here we go. I actually, I actually think this will be fine. I don't think it will be fine. <laughs> it wanted to send itself over the car. So, um, I could call it Uber for the f <laughs> I think this passes the test, you know. I think that's practical. I think I could get home with that on there. Like, I genuinely think I could. It's pretty far to my house. And obviously, if police see it, they'll probably get arrested. We probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's some water, mate. Thank you. And here's your Asda air fryer. Practical as... Anyway, I won't swear. Get, getting out of this car is uh, it's an occasion, I'll tell you that. It's not easy, it kind of hurts. Let's get some fuel in this bad boy. So uh, let's see how much it costs to fill up a, a GT3 RS from empty. 
so a full tank in the GT3 RS costs about 90 pounds, I would say. So it's about 60 liters. Impressive, not too bad. Uh, it's, a, it's a large enough tank. On that, let's check how many miles we'll get. It's difficult to get in this car because of the sides, the bolsters on the side of the bucket seats. Let's see how many miles I got. Full tank of fuel gives me 259 miles. Pretty awful. Thank you very much. Thanks. Kentucky Pride. So I'm in Leatherhead with some very, very cool dashing chaps. He's in a Uniqlo shirt. I'm a fan of Uniqlo. Um, I'm currently eating KFC on the wing of the GT3 RS to show how practical it is for daily tasks. Um, so if you need to pull up and have a, a picnic on your <laughs> GT3 RS, the, the, look, at look, I, no we could all eat our lunch on here. You could, guys, come on, snap your lunch on there. We can all have it. It's like a um, table. I just won't open and close it. But yeah, very practical. It passes the test for food consumption. So um, the GT3 RS is a stupendous automobile. However, it's terrible at daily stuff, but I guess that's not what it's built for. It can do the daily things, but it's not a car that you necessarily want to take to Asda to buy an air fryer. However, when I have more miles on the car, I think what we'll do is we'll take it out on a track or we'll take it for a little road trip and give you guys a proper review. But for now, welcome to my GT3 RS um, Visac pack in white uh, 992. I, I've forgotten the order of the name, but I actually really love this car and I'm glad I got it because I really wanted it. And people always say, don't meet your heroes, but I'm, I'm glad I met this one. And it makes sense as well because it's not losing value. So yay. <laughs>